टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू ड्रॉ ऑप्टिकल क्रॉस एंड हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट इट्स फाइंडिंग ऑप्टिकल क्रॉस इज ड्रॉन आफ्टर यू हैव परफॉर्म्ड रेटनोस्कोपी एंड इन रेटनोस्कोपी वी न्यूट्रलाइज टू मरीडियंस दैट आर नाइन्टी डिग्री अपार्ट एंड बोथ ऑफ दोज मरीडियंस आर मैंशन इन ऑप्टिकल क्रॉस दिस वन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वर्टिकल मरीडियन एंड दिस वन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द हॉरिजेंटल मरीडियन एंड हेयर वी मैंशन द लेंस बाई विच दैट मरीडियन इज न्यूट्रलाइज इन दैट केस वर्टिकल मरीडियन इज न्यूट्रलाइज बाई प्लस फोर लेंस एंड हॉरिजेंटल मरीडियन इज न्यूट्रलाइज बाई प्लस थ्री लेंस एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू कंसिडर इज द वर्किंग डिस्टेंस इट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द ऑब्जर्वर एंड द पेशेंट नॉर्मली इट इज से सिक्सटी सेवन सेंटीमीटर which is equivalent to 1.5 diopters the first uh, step uh, to uh, draw the results is uh, you have to consider a, a reference meridian it ups it, it is up to you whether you want to consider the vertical meridian as your reference meridian or you want to consider the horizontal meridian as your reference meridian in this example i have considered the vertical meridian as my uh, reference meridian so the first step is you have to minus the value of the lens that has neutralized your reference meridian by the working distance in this example plus 4 is the lens that has neutralized the vertical meridian that is i am considering my reference meridian minus the working distance which is 1.5 diopters so the results are plus 2.50 Now plus two point five zero here is the spherical component of your result. Now if both meridians are neutralized by the same lens, it means that there is no cylinder present. And if they are neutralized by the different lenses, as in this example, that indicates that there is a cylinder present. And cylinder is equal to the difference of the two uh, lenses that have neutralized the two meridians. Uh, in this example, there is plus four and plus three, so the difference is one. So one is the cylinder. Now another important thing is to consider the sign of the cylinder, whether the sign of the cylinder is positive or negative. Now that depends that on which side are you moving. If you are moving towards the uh, less plus side, as in this example, or towards the negative side, then you have to use the sign of the cylinder as negative. and if you are moving towards the more plus side uh, for example if you are moving towards this side from plus 3 to plus 4 then you have to consider the value of the uh, sign of the cylinder as plus but in this example as i am moving towards this side so i will consider the sign of the cylinder as minus so minus 1 is the cylinder so the final results are plus 2.50 sphere Minus one cylinder and axis. You have to mention the axis of uh, the reference meridian, which in that case is the vertical. So I will mention the axis as ninety degree. Now, if I want to consider plus three as a reference meridian, so what happens is that plus three minus working distance. Uh, so the uh, spherical value is plus one point five zero. Now, as uh, difference is one, so cylinder is one. Uh, but in this case i am moving towards more plus side from plus 3 to plus 4 so the value of cells, so the sorry sign of cylinder is plus 1 and axis as the reference meridian is 180 degree so i have mentioned the axis as 180 so basically these two results are same this is how you interpret draw and interpret optical cross